Assalamu alaikum viewers please like share and subscribe this channel links of pdf files used in this video are given in description so today is a part 4 of a lecture series about nanomaterials and in this lecture we have discussed size size dependent properties of nanomaterials with a special reference to chemical thermal electrical optical and magnetic properties in the previous lectures we have seen the application of nanomaterials then the way by which these nanomaterials are synthesized and characterization techniques now today's lecture is about size dependent properties of nanomaterials and these include chemical properties thermal properties electrical properties optical properties and magnetic properties in case of chemical properties we are mainly interested in reactivity and catalysis thermal properties include melting point temperature variations electronic properties include mainly conduction whereas optical properties include absorption and scattering of light whereas magnetic properties involves magnetization and demagnetization etc so what we are interested is that what is the impact on these properties as we change the size of material from bulk to nano form so the impact on chemical properties has been represented by this graph which is drawn between the particle size and then there is the reaction rate as we are seen here that as we reduce the size of the particle then the reaction rate is increasing and as we go further less as compared to from 10 nanometer towards 0 nanometer then the reaction rate has been increased exponentially now what is the impact of size and why we are attaining this type of graphs is that when we are decreasing the size then there is an increase in total surface area which increase the number of atoms accessible on the surface so increased catalytic activity uh, on the surface atoms is possible and not only the surface area uh, is changed and more surface area is available but also the change in shape size and composition also matters so nano scale catalysts can increase the rate selectivity and efficiency of various chemical reactions so in this way the chemical reactivity is definitely increasing as we are changing the particle size from bulk to nanometer and the reaction rate is increasing than exponentially so this was the impact on chemical properties the impact of particle size on the thermal properties of the overall material have been summarized in this graph so here again we have drawn this graph between the particle size and the temperature or the melting point of the material so here what we are seeing that as we are decreasing the size then the melting point temperature is decreasing why this is happening whereas this is the uh, melting point temperature of the bulk material but here we are seeing clearly that as we are decreasing the size then the melting point temperature is also decreasing actually melting point is that point at which the atom starts to vibrate so as we are uh, reducing the particle size then atoms are going away and away from each other so each individual atom has more freedom to move and then this movement is available freely then atom starts to move at less temperature so as a result of which the melting points are decreasing so the melting point of a material directly correlates with the bond strength in bulk materials the surface to volume ratio is small and hence the surface effects can be neglected however in nanomaterials the melting temperature is size dependent and it decreases with the decreased particle size diameters so the surface atoms are not bonded in direction mm, normal to the surface plane and hence the surface atoms will have more freedom to move so in this way we can say that the melting points are decreased sharply as we are 
decreasing the particle size from bulk to nanometer form or nanometer size range so in this slide the optical properties uh, has been influenced by the particle size and this is represented by in this uh, graph and this has also been represented by this diagram so first of all we are seeing this graph that what it is explaining that adds we are uh, uh, reducing the size like this is the particle of 3 nanometer radius whereas this is the particle of 1 nanometer radius so as we are decreasing the size from 3 to 1 nanometer the wavelength of the energy that it emits is shifts towards the blue shift or towards the higher uh, towards the lower wavelength and high energy so what it means that whenever the particle size is small then it will emit the light of blue color whereas if we increase the size of the particle then it will emit the light of red color towards red shift emit higher wavelength or uh, emit low energy light so this effect has also been explained here here we are seeing here these are the quantum dots of different uh, sizes from 2 to 7 nanometer as the size is increasing uh, about 7 nanometer this has more number of atoms it means it have more closely spaced lines of uh, emissions uh, energy levels so the closely spaced lines and as a result of which when the energy is released then it release into the energy of uh, higher wavelength whereas here we are seeing that this is the particle small in size so it has the uh, energy levels they are quite away from each other and when it emits light then this light will be of high energy and low wavelength so in this way we can tune the uh, light that is emitted by varying the particle size so it is clear that the size reduction in nanomaterials shifts the emission of peaks towards the shorter wavelengths or blue shift whereas if we increase the size then the emission of peaks occurs towards a longer wavelength or red shift the size of magnetic nanoparticles also influence the value of magnetization so this figure is explaining this effect well and if we are seeing here that this is the figure in which we are observing the magnetization of zinc ferrite the magnetization increasing significantly as we are seen here whenever the size becomes uh, from 40 to 20 nanometer and then 20 nanometer to further going towards zero hence by decreasing the particle size of granular magnetic material it is possible to improve the quality of magnets fabricated from it now what is the reason behind it that when there are a very large number of atoms so here we are seeing here then there are various magnetic domains so some domains cancel the effect of other domains however if there are less number of atoms uh, in the nearby region so those effects cause less cancellation of domains so each domain behave independently and they cause uh, improvement in magnetization so hence it is proved that as we are decreasing the particle size then again magnetization is increasing uh, exponentially so this was the effect of magnetic properties as we are decreasing the size of a material from bulk to nano form so there is also effect on the <coughs> electronic properties of a material as we change material from bulk to nano form 
so in birth material there is conduction of electrons and that is delocalized and electrons can move freely in all directions however when reduce the dimensions then whenever we are reducing the dimension then it means we are restricting the movement of electrons and the quantum effects do dominates so whenever we restrict the movement of electrons then there is decrease in conduct conductivity so it means then there is less electron delocalization and as a result of which there is less movement of electrons and hence there will be less electrical conductivity so in other words if we are explain this effect in the form of band theory so if there are large number of atoms then there are closely spaced energy levels and these energy levels are so closely spaced that we are consider them as in the form of a band so in this band the electrons can move jump from one energy level to another uh, so it means the conductivity is increased however when we are reducing the number of atoms in terms of particle size then these bands are converted into discrete energy levels with greater distance among them so in that case electron cannot overcome these increased distances as a result of which the conductivity is reduced so the material which is behaving as conductor in bulk form is behaving like a semiconductor or insulator in the nano form so this was the influence of particle size on electronic properties of the material so this was all about today's lecture i hope you have well understood this lecture uh, but if you have still any question in your mind you can ask those question in the comment section i will reply as soon as possible to those questions okay thank you allah hafiz